Hi, so in this tutorial we're going to look at how we can improve the individual tracking. So let's open a previous sequence that I have recorded previously. You can look at it like this. So that's the recording. Okay, so let's go to the front of the sequence. First of all, you have here the option of retracking, and that will basically do exactly the same as is if you had um, pressed on doing a real-time tracking. So you can always go back to the original state of doing a real-time tracking using retrack. Now, if you want to improve the tracking, you have the option two options. First of all, you have this refine. If you press it, it will improve it. So let's just duplicate the sequence and then we press refine on that. So it will first do a head pose alignment and then it will do a more thorough optimization of the actual sequence. So this will take a while. Um, you can see down there it will give you an estimate of how long it's going to take. So let's wait until it's finished. Okay, so now we have two sequences. This is the first one, and that is the second one where we press refine. And we have here, for example, that's the brows, the upper um, going up, the left brow going up. Uh, we can also select, for example, jaw open, which is always a good one to look at. And you can see the, the changes that you get. Now, um, typically you then see uh, the improvement if you look at, um, at the actual recording and the tracking itself. Now another option to improve it is really interactive. So you can look at the sequences and that's why we have here these marker points, that's these bright dots. And that allows you to look at the data and the tracking and then you can try to improve it. So let's try to find a point where we are not very happy with the recording. Let's just take Here, for example, here it actually opens the mouth a little bit and it's not even that much open. What you can do is here you can take press that dot and then drag it up and that will automatically update the tracking. But it will also update all the frames next to it. Note that this kind of optimization is meant to do small corrections. So you will do it on one frame and it will also affect the neighboring frames. But it's not meant to, for example, if you say, uh, in general, that eyebrow show go up here, then that will not work. Now, that's the two options how you can improve your tracking. And um, have a look at it, have a play with it, and you will see you will get much better trackings.